Looking for a little romantic getaway to get it going with your girlfriend? Don't worry, I got you covered. Take her to KitKat! Just kidding, don't bring her there, at least if you wanna keep her. No, bring her here to Peacock Island. It's called like that because of, guess what? It's full of peacocks. <gasps> so you're saying it's basically a prison for peacocks because they can never escape? Yeah, kind of like that. But let's have a look around, shall we? Oh wait, I forgot the intro. It's your turn. Catch us some dinner. <sighs> Doggy was too slow. I guess I'll have to stay hungry again. That's how you care for your friends, huh? Hey, wait, what, what's that? Ooh, nice. That's the summer house of Prussian King Friedrich Wilhelm II. But I call him the faker. This ain't real marble. It's some cheap wood and some paint. Usually you can go inside, but right now it's under renovation until 2024. What? Who the fuck is working on that? Sloths? Anyway, the romantic beginnings of this island started in the 18th century, when Prince Friedrich Wilhelm II, also called the fat good for nothing, visited the island together with Wilhelmine Emke, who was only 13 at the time, for some romantic adventures. Uh, I think that's enough history for today. Let's go somewhere else. There's much more to explore here. There's the Mayerei, pretty neat place, where they processed milk and made butter, I think. And a pony in front. There's this thing here, pretty cool, which seems to be a park bench that you cannot use. Very expensive. There's a beautiful fountain. There's this thing here, the hunter's house, looks kind of creepy. The coverings of this building are completely made out of pork. There's a beautiful rose garden. Anyway, the Peacock Island is as romantic as it gets in Berlin. And since you're already halfway to Potsdam, why not go for a dinner there? It's a beautiful city. Doggy, you're paying. You screwed up today. <laughs> 